Looking for a spacious five bedroom home in Lakeville featuring a gas fireplace, finished basement, huge backyard, and so much more? Well, we got you covered. Roll that intro. Hey, this is Michael Getty with Mozzie Properties, and today I'm bringing you a video walkthrough tour of 17473 Hayes Avenue here in Lakeville. This is the five bedroom single family house behind me. We're gonna go and check it out. Be sure if you enjoy the video, hit that like button and check out the description below where I post things like rent price, availability date, and links to that itself. If you enjoyed the video tour, but the house wasn't quite what you were looking for, go and subscribe to the channel as I post hundreds of other rentals throughout the year. Now let's go ahead and get that show on the road. So, here is the single family house. Two car garage, nice long drive. Big backyard, we'll show that here in just a little bit. Over here off of Hayes. Got some other single family houses in the neighborhood. There's actually just a park, just about a block that way too. It's a very convenient location. Got ourselves our two car garage here, little garage keypad. Nice little cute walkway. Some landscaping up to the front porch. Little spot here to put a chair swing, but Let's head on in and take a look at the home itself. All right, so upon entering, we are going to hook a right and kind of go through some of the main living spaces here first, but we'll circle back around and show everything. So we have this large living room, dining room, sitting room, multi-purpose room, call it whatever you will. Over here, there's the carpet, Big windows looking out to the front of the home. This room is what's typically used for more of a dining as it's right off of the kitchen here, a little red chandelier, but obviously it can be used for whatever you like it. They have a nice big corner office hutch here. Tons of space though to kind of set up and best utilize however you'd like. And this leads into the kitchen and other living room. So we're gonna head down to the other living room and I'll circle back to the kitchen. This is probably my favorite room in the house. I have it set up really nice right now too. Nice big couch, some extra lights, your gas fireplace, big windows looking off back, including the patio door, and our kitchen over here. Give a couple more angles, but we've got our Gas fireplace, tile surround with mantle. Just gonna step out so I'm not showing you directly these lamps here. But plenty of space, I do have room dimensions available for anybody that needs it. Um, and one reason why you may not use that room down there as a dining room is you do have plenty of space here. Let's go ahead and put in a large table, get over some hardwood floors, Overhead light fixture still there for you. Then we'll look at the kitchen. So you got a nice center island right here, traditional prep and counter space. Stainless steel dishwasher. Some upper cabinetry, spans around. Built-in microwave. Got our stove. Sink with kitchen window. And over here, we have our stainless steel fridge. A little built-in desk space. It's really nice. Open kitchen. Now we'll go walk around out back, but just to kind of show you the deck here real quick. You have a nice deck off back. Look at all this tree coverage too for privacy. It's just awesome. We'll take a look at that in a little bit, but tour the home itself continues and goes on. You can see spacious entryway in here too where you got a spot to put down some benches and such. Uh, we do have a guest bath right off the entry. So there's your toilet, sink, mirror. And then uh, let's go ahead, we'll go take a look at the upstairs. Right off of the entryway is the staircase to get on up. And then we'll just kind of put everything into orientation. So we have bedroom, master bedroom, shared bathroom, and two more bedrooms over here. So we'll just kind of go in room by room, take a look, 
Here's the first overhead ceiling fan. Nice large double door closet right there. Cool accent wall. And then nice size closet. Right here we have ourselves a linen closet. And we have our master bedroom right here. Overhead ceiling fan. This is a large room here too, so you got plenty of additional space. Over here we have ourselves a walk-in closet. And actually even goes back a little bit behind here too with some more racks. Plenty of storage space. And then we can take a look at the bathroom here. Dual sinks, large mirror, light fixtures, toilet, little window looking off the back. And then our tub shower here too. Okay, continuing down we have our shared bathroom. A sink, mirror, toilet. And back here we have our tub shower. And behind me, this bathroom does have a linen closet in here as well. Last two bedrooms on the upper level. Overhead ceiling fan here. Accent wall, big windows looking off to the back of the home, and a good sized closet over here too. We'll just show it real quick. So you can see plenty of closet space. And then the fourth window, or excuse me, the fourth bedroom, big window looking off to the front of the home. Here we are. And then another big closet here. We won't open this one. But you guys get you get the idea at this point. Nice closet space for these upper bedrooms. And this is a good size room too, a great size room. So Okay. That's the upstairs. A couple more things I want to show before we're done here. First, just in the interest of not missing it, is we'll show off to the left here. Do have our in-unit washer and dryer, the sink basin, flip side here, nice large closet, and then this is the direct access to the garage. See, it's a two-stall garage with some additional storage back in that way. Pretty tall ceiling, pretty deep, so nice big two-door garage. Next things on the agenda, basement and then backyard. So we'll go take a look at the basement here first. Coming down, we have a large family room, which continues in and forks off to both sides over here. It's got some recessed lighting. See currently they got a nice little arcade hoop down here. TV, bean bag. It's a real nice lower level. This is what the third family room area that this house has to offer. Uh, little closet right here. Back here we have our fifth bedroom. Right now, currently this is more of a staging for the boxing that's about to happen with the move but this is this works great as a guest bedroom also works well as an office if you want to have it be more of like a private office space because it is a little more secluded and away from the other rooms another bonus too is it does have its own bathroom so you get a nice little stand-up shower over there sink 
vanity, and toilet. So down here you can see a little built-in hutch, bookshelving, and then over here we have our maintenance room. So we've got our water softener, water heater, furnace AC, some space here for storage, and a sub pump off back. Okay, now let's go up, grab the shoes, and we'll walk around and check out the backyard. Always fun to be able to show backyards in the summer. It's nice out, beautiful day today, 80 degrees, so this is peak Minnesota right here. Steps down here from the deck. A little bit of wildlife going on over here. Shed off back. You see, just huge backyard. There's your deck right there. Because of all these trees, too, it's got a very private feel to it. See, there's views to the front, the shed. We'll just kind of show over here. Get your AC, a little bit of shrubbery, and there's the egress window. So, lower bedroom. All right, well, that concludes the tour of this property. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now. Thanks for watching our video tour. If you're interested in applying for the property, check out the video up here to see how to do our online rental application process. If it wasn't quite what you were looking for, you can browse our other active listings over here as well to see what else we have on the market. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified with any new content. Thanks so much and have a great day.